6 a.m. Um, our flight today doesn't leave until 10 p.m. But I like to get a good start in my morning before everything's rushed and kind of do my routine. And so I got up early just so I have time to start off, relax, and clean the house so that when my mom comes back, she finds it very nice and ready for her. Um, and then I'm gonna wake up Caleb in like half an hour, I think, um, just because he has such a hard time sleeping on planes. And I wanna give him the best chance to sleep, so I want him to be sleepy for tonight. Usually he likes to sleep in, but um, today's vlog is going to be about our travel from Iowa to Spain since it's happening between today and tomorrow. So I'm just gonna bring you along so you have an idea of how long it took us. So it's gonna be a long couple of days. So wish us luck. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Today's the day. Today's the day. Hi, Liam. How do you feel about today? Uh, I'm excited for later today, but I'm sleepy right now. Say bye, house. Bye, house. <laughs> okay, it is 11.39 a.m. We are late leaving the house, but that's okay. Here's Lily. We're gonna drop her off at my dad's. So first we're going to go to Cedar Rapids, which is like two hours away. Yep. And then from there, we'll leave Luna there and then my dad will give us a ride to Chicago. So here we go. <laughs> Listo. Okay. Bye, Luneta. Nos vemos el, el año que entra. Listo. <laughs> okay, but one more hug for me, too. Sí. Muy bien, Caleb. Muy bien. Bye, Luneta. Te portas. <laughs> <laughs> to Luna and dropped her off at my dad's place um, and that was a little bit sad but I know that she'll be just fine and when we come back we'll be so excited to see her and whenever we FaceTime my parents they'll show us her tiny face and it'll be okay um, we're about halfway there right now to Chicago we're driving with my dad since he is keeping the car um, but next I'll show you when we're at the airport
Okay, our flight was all good. All of our luggage is here. So we brought each one of us one uh, check bag and one carry-on. And also just like jam packed. And then, yeah, our personal bag is a backpack a that we super packed. Yeah. So, because we're gonna be living out of these for like 10 months. So. Yes. So now we're waiting for our bus that will take us from the airport. So this is the airport. Terminal 2. Terminal 2. <laughs> yeah. And it'll take us directly to our airport. Um, to our hotel. To our hotel. <laughs> it, sorry, I'm jet lagged. <laughs> no, I feel good actually. But it will take us to our hotel. And yeah, but it's just been going so well. Caleb and I had this fear that our luggage was going to get lost or it wasn't going to get here in time, but it was right there fine. as soon as we got there. Actually, because it took us a while to find the, the baggage claim. So yes. the, our bags were there before we were. Mm. But yeah, so we're all we're all good. This is going well. It's very warm here and we look like it's really cold, but it's because we, so because we didn't want to bring more than the minimum, yeah, um, more well minimum kind of because well, like we didn't more than the maximum weight, but more than the maximum weight, more than the minimum yeah, amount of bags that we could. Uh, so we are wearing a lot of our clothes. I kind of feel like I'm like Joey in that episode where he wears all of Chandler's clothes. Yeah. But okay, so show us how you're. So wearing. I have a V-neck T-shirt yeah. and then a flannel. And then a hooded sweatshirt, and then a denim jacket, <laughs> and your hat, and my hat, khakis, khakis, and, and my biggest boots because they're the heaviest. Yeah. And I have, so I was wearing this heavier coat, and then a sweater, and then a light T-shirt, um, and then these are actually really thick because they're, they're kind like of, felt lined. Yeah, felt lined. Yeah. And then my heaviest boots, so yep. very warm, but it was worth it. <laughs> Caleb and I got to our hotel. We rushed up mm -hmm. and now we're out exploring the neighborhood in Madrid that our hotel is in. It's very like a lot of like uh, a lot of offices and factories yes <laughs> yeah so. supermarket yeah so we're not finding a lot but we didn't want to go downtown tonight just because we have to get up really early tomorrow um to go to seville and so we just kind of wanted to walk but we're gonna try and find somewhere to get a drink and eat for the night Okay, uh, this is orange juice, mm -hmm. solid, mm -hmm. uh, a latte, mm -hmm. and then this is flauta iberica, which is like a tiny baguette with some jamón iberico yeah. in it, and then that is a napolitana crema, which mm -hmm. is like a cream pastry Danish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. to pick up our request. Yep. We had to ask for a, a van Uber since we have so much luggage and it's so big that, yeah. So I think that's why it's taking a little while, but <laughs> hopefully an Uber will come get us and then we'll be able to go to our Airbnb.
<laughs> we found the school we're gonna be working at. What do you think? <laughs> I'm excited. Me too. Crazy. We might have just met two of our students. students. We need to send out the email to Yay. see what we actually need to show. Yes. So we're having a very foreigner experience. We, as Americans, <laughs> came out of our apartment thinking, oh, we can just get some food. But that's not the case because it is Sunday at 4.30 p.m. and everywhere's closed. Grocery stores are closed. We keep coming up to like local bars and restaurants saying, we see your menu and they keep saying that their kitchen's closed so here's the tip for you when you come to Spain make sure you eat not when they're closed yeah, everything's <laughs> everything that I'm looking up right now closes at 4 30 and doesn't reopen till 7 or 7 30. yeah so, so I'm really I think what we're gonna do is get a drink yeah and then a tapa will come with it yeah. we'll go back to the Airbnb Thankfully, we brought some snacks. Yep, we have snacks. So and so we'll eat on those we'll, until we'll be dinner. Tied over. Although dinner time is right when the game. Vikings game starts. So yeah, but game. after the game. Theoretically, I guess I can put the Vikings game up on my phone. So. That's true. That's true. Yeah, okay. so we can eat so, a bunch of snacks. But yeah, that we just thought that was kind of <laughs> funny. I, we're not hangry yet. No, but we'll. But I am a little there. worried. So we didn't have lunch. We didn't. So. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Is what it is. We found this place that took mercy on us, gave us a beer and some extra tapas. Looks it like this. Bread, and they're bringing some more. So, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we're at our Airbnb and before the light goes away, I just wanted to show you my packing system since I mentioned I would um, show it in here. So here we go. Uh, I traveled, both Kilo and I traveled with one checked in bag, one carry on bag, and one uh, personal bag, which we both brought our backpacks. Okay, so here's the carry on. My carry-on is actually smaller than other carry-ons, but I kind of like it because it was able to fit really well and it limited my weight, which was good. So in here I brought a notebook book, tarot cards, and these are some of the two cubes that I have. So there are some of them that you can not see through, and then there's some of them that you can. So for example, in the ones that I can, I like to put things that I know, that I want to know what it is. So for example, in this cube, I have all my pants. And in this one, I have random toiletries and things I might need, but I don't necessarily want everybody to look because it might be like medicines and things like that. And then raincoat, glasses, and a little gift that we got. Um, I really like this one. Kayla and I got it from Target and it's a Samsonite. I really liked it. It's very spe spacious, um, but I did fill it up to the fullest, so it was very heavy. So it's really important if you're doing a big trip like this one that you get a suitcase with four wheels instead of just the two so that you can pull them like this instead of like pulling them to the side the whole entire so this is what the inside looks like these are all my tank tops then here i have shoes more uh like my liquid toiletries other toy oh these are like hair things this one you can't see so it's probably like pajamas swimsuits shirts these are like colored pencils and things like that and here I have my skirts slash dresses. 
Um, here I like to store laundry, like dirty laundry. And then it's the same here. So this is my makeup. If I lift the sweater, I can see that I have shoes, sweaters, toiletries. Yes, I have a lot of toiletries. This you can't see, so it's probably like underwear, coat, hat. So yes, those two, honestly, I really recommend them. A lot of people told me in my Instagram that I should get some cubes for travel. And not only do they do a really great job organizing, it's also just easy to know, oh, I can see exactly what I have. Like maybe, for example, last night, we stayed in a hotel and instead of me having to take everything out of my luggage to find whatever I wanted to wear, I could just say, oh, I only need to take these two things out. I just need my shorts and a t-shirt, you know, or whatever. And so that's very helpful.